Annyeong haseyo, te urunum lion etnida. And as everyone knows, in Korean that means, hello, my name is Leon. So welcome to another Whiskey Web Wednesday. And today I have a very interesting foreign treat, which I have been meaning to review for some time now. And since we're in the depths of January and we had Rabbi Burns dinner last night, and we were celebrating traditional fare from countries, I thought why not celebrate somewhere far away. So in 2019 I went to a wedding in Korea and we went to the JSA, the Joint Security Area between South Korea and North Korea and it's one of these fascinating um, demilitarized zones uh, where you get a clash of cultures, like those interesting parts in the world like the Berlin Wall used to be or Istanbul, like Asia versus Europe. So very fascinating place. You can go up there and you can look through your binoculars and you can see the villages across the border. You can actually see people walking around or on their little bicycles. So that was my first glimpse of North Korea and I was fascinated to see what they would give me when I asked for North Korean whiskey. And this is it. This is In Sam Seul which is ginseng in Korean, insam, and then sul, I guess, is liquor. So it's, it's ginseng liquor. And if you look closely there, there's actually a little bit of ginseng in the bottle. A little root. It's 30% alcohol and made in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And it's got a whole bunch of medals, so it must be good. Um, Established in 1830. Uh, don't see much aging going on there, so I'm not sure about the age of this, but apparently the ginseng itself is six years old, the root that they use. And this is a panacea. Um, it was first written about in the first century BC, ginseng as being this all powerful root, a cure for all diseases. And indeed, the, um, the factory where they developed this stuff, they claim to have. Um, found cures for AIDS, Ebola, and SARS. So that's a pretty good track record, if you ask me. And Kim Jong-un, the great supreme leader of North Korea, tells everyone quite happily that this is hangover-free whiskey, so you can drink as much of it as you like, with no consequences the following day. So let's see what's in this wonderful elixir. I would say this bottle is a nice example of communist styling. A nice screw cap there, good solid lines, good sturdy bottle, a bit like those blocks of flats that you get in those communist countries. <laughs> oh wow, this is uh, different. <sighs> so on the nose I'm getting dirt floors. Wet parsnip, oyster mushrooms, moss, ginseng root of course. It almost smells like you're in a candle factory as well, like that waxy candle flavour. Maybe linseed, diesel, matchsticks. Ooh. Now dare I try the palette. Wish me luck. Mm. <coughs> uh, boiled carrot water, formaldehyde. Definitely something dead in there. <laughs> Ginseng rips right through everything. I think that's the main saving grace. One more. No burn at all, and that's a plus. It's only 30%, so it goes down without too much uh, fire. 
but wow, mm, interesting. And this is the beauty of traveling. You get to explore the world's culture through food and drink. And I never expected I would find a North Korean whiskey in my booze cabinet, but here it is. And uh, what a fascinating journey. And they'll know whenever I need to be on top form the next day, I'll just have a bottle of that and I'll wake up brand new, by the way. So cheers, everyone. Here's to future traveling after the pandemic. And uh, Slanjava, or as they say in Korea, Kampe.